Kusa is a unique island. Kusa, in fact, is the first island that was purchased to save one species. It was found that it was the last refuge of the Seychelles warbler, thought to be one of the rarest birds in the world. The entire world population of the Seychelles warbler was found in a very small area of Kusan Island in the mangrove section. It was doomed to be extinct and it became a kind of rallying cry for world conservation because ICBP, which is the International Council for Bird Protection, which purchased the island, had to actually have a worldwide campaign to raise the funds to purchase this island. This island was privately owned by a Seychellois family, one of the first families in Seychelles. They were a, a planter family, so the island was wall-to-wall -wall coconuts. So in 1968, they actually got the island. And that was the beginning of modern conservation in Seychelles. ICBP, which then became BirdLife International, has had the longest relationship with the Seychelles of any conservation organization, an uninterrupted partnership with the Seychelles for the last 40 years. And it's taken that long to transform this island from bumper to bumper coconuts to what you see today, which is 80% native forests, a completely restored ecosystem of seabirds, landbirds, reptiles. Although a bird organization purchased the island to save a bird, I often refer to it as the bird that saved an island. The warbler was the first. The next, we did it with a magpie robin. The Royal Society for Protection of Birds started a program in 1990 because again the robin was like the warbler only about 19 individuals left on one island and that one island was frigate and in the 1990s it's also located for to Kuze. and now on Kuze, like i said we have about 45 they are doing well on the islands yeah. a couple of years ago BirdLife International IUCN downlisted the bird from the highest threat category, which was critically endangered, down to the second level, which is endangered. So again, a significant conservation milestone, proving that conservation action can, within a relatively short amount of time, save a critically endangered species. Kuze today is the most important nesting site for hawksbill turtles in the whole of the Western Indian Ocean. So the current status for the hawksbill turtle is critically endangered. They have declined by over 80% in the last three generations and have further projected declines in the future. In the 19th and 20th centuries, they were heavily exploited for their shell for their meat and also for the eggs. Today there are other issues, it's more to do with habitat loss and degradation due to coastal development. There's also the issue of bycatch from big fisheries. So this island, although it's very small, has a, a large percentage of the hawksbills come here to nest each year, which makes it extremely important for their protection and ongoing conservation. Kuzan Island is an example of conservation success, not just for the sea turtles, but for the seabirds, the reptiles. For the full seabird census, it involves all of the seabirds, uh, the lesser noddy, the brown noddy, the fairy tern, bridal tern, the white-tailed tropic bird, wedge tail, and the tropical shearwaters. Here it's safe for them, so they don't feel threatened by anyone or anything, any animals. In, they are free here, so they, they come here to nest. In a 
addition to all the monitoring we do on the island, we also have to monitor what goes on in the water around the island because the reserve stretches 400 metres out. Twice yearly we survey the substrate, so we record the coral cover, the percentage of algae cover, the different types of algae that are on the reef, um, different types of coral, the structural complexity of the reef. We monitor the fish abundance and diversity. We get approximately 10,000 to 12,000 tourists a year. Tourism is important for, for Cousin because it brings money in for the upkeep and, and maintenance of the island. It's put back into, into this conservation work. We really enjoyed the tour on the island and uh, we had the uh, luck to see uh, this turtles, turtles uh, nesting. I think uh, these kind of things happen once in a life. It's, it's a heritage that belongs to everybody and we believe that everybody should contribute to it. But on the other hand, it's free for Sichuan. Um, like for example, this year we've had two trips by the University of Seychelles, we've had several trips by the wildlife clubs, by school groups from Prague, etc. They are protecting the, the birds, the, the endemic animals, plants and so on. So it's very important to keep it like this. I'm very proud because it's, it's, one, it's a unique island. I think that we have the perfect marriage of conservation and tourism. The tourist experience is quite unique on Kuzan as well and because this is a very strict reserve they have to be chaperoned at all times and they get a very uh, informative and educational tour around the island. It does really come down to the staff that have worked here over the years, um, the rules that are set in place, the regulations that are adhered to, um, the strict protection of this island.